freaking red-eyed wolf, man. Look at this freaking guy. What's up, guys? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for a game called Gaia. You might be asking, what's Gaia about? Well, Gaia is sci-fi survival. Now, there's obviously a lot more to it, but they hooked me at Sci-Fi Survival. Um, this game is planned to be released on May 30th, which is going to be tomorrow. Uh, this, should, this video should be going up tomorrow, so it should, hopefully it'll be released tomorrow, the day this video goes up. So if you like it, you can check it out. I don't know the cost of the game. The developer did send me a key, so that was awful nice of them. And a quick Google search uh, led me to this little definition here. Gaia is the name of, an ancient, of the ancient the ancient greek goddess of the earth is that what this game has to do with i don't really know um but man this game sounds really cool i've been hearing some really cool things about it and i actually play a test game and it seems pretty good it is an early access super duper alpha early access just keep that in mind uh when it comes out tomorrow you know before you purchase it all right so we're going to start in the forest biome we can't change that uh, we can change the time of day, but we're going to go ahead and go to morning. Uh, there are storytellers. Korra provides the classic Gaia experience. As the challenge curves, as the challenge curves curve rises slowly but steadily, Korra will hit you with a raid or two. Yes, base defense is a big deal in this game. It's part of the reason it hooked me. Uh, then give you a reward. Then hit you with another raid or a disaster. Recommended for beginners. There's also tranquil. Tranquilio <laughs> generates a chill gameplay experience, giving you plenty of time between events to recover to recover from them. Um, he will also tend to give you more rewards than disasters, uh, but his raids will hit you just as hard as the other storytellers. And then there is RN Jesus. This is hilarious too. Uh, doesn't care about anything really. When he decides what events to send you next, he often thinks he he often thinks about what you have for supper. If you choose him, all events will be random. He may envelop the atmosphere in poisonous gas while sending you five raids in a row, or he may send you plenty of trade ships and meteor showers. Trade ships and meteor showers. Not recommended for beginners. Okay, fine. We're going to go with uh, Core Core. Uh, it will be called Season 1. Resources will be high. There's all kinds of things you could do here. Trees will be high. Monsters. Animals difficulty be normal. I'm going to leave that alone. And we do have a tutorial that I'm going to click. And we also have an Iron Man thing that's that's automatically checked. All right. If this is enabled, you won't be able to save a game manually. And if you die, it's game over. Right there. I just know I'm not going to play Iron Man. But this is the way guy is meant to be played. If Iron Man disabled, you'll lose items on death. But we'll be allowed to continue playing. There's no way I'm going to allow my world to get destroyed if I die. Hells no. So I've been hearing some really cool things about this game. Um, again, it's an early access. Just, you know, be prepared for that as I play. But one of the main things I love about this game that I've been hearing about is, or reading about, is the fact that your base is going to be under attack. For those of you who, like, don't know anything about me, um, I am a big fan of my base being under attack. I, you know, I want to defend my base. Like, that's the, that's the thing that separates my favorite survival games from all the rest. Now, there's good survival games that you don't have to defend your base, but the fact of the matter is, for me, my top three favorite survival games, Seven Days to Die, The Forest, and now Imperion, those three games, you have to defend your base, and it's a really, really big deal for me personally. Oh, boy. This doesn't look good. All right, well, let's look in the bottom left-hand side as we crash here onto a planet. Um, you've got Sanity, Health, Hunger, Rest, Thirst, Leisure, Bladder, Hygiene, Oxygen and radiation. If this is a survival game, I don't know what the hell is. Holy crap, dude. That's a lot of stats right there. The only thing I don't like about this uh, UI is I hope you can, like, um, uh, change the resolution of it. Make that. I'd like to make these uh, boxes, the one on the top left-hand side, the one on the bottom right-hand side, I'd like to make them way smaller. Like, the one on the bottom left-hand side could be, like, a quarter of that um, that size, and that would be wonderful. All right, so we do have the tutorial. So we just crash-landed on a planet. We need to grab some... You guys can't hear that, can you? Let me turn that. Let me see which one of these does the voice. PDA assistant. All right, so it is the sound effects volume, right? Recommend. Yes. Okay, so let's put the sound effects volume up and let's put the environmental Salvaging one down. Salvaging emergency supplies from inside the pod. Placing down the main assembler ASAP is critical to your survival. Recommended position within 50 meters of the escape pod. Okay. 
So we need to put this uh, main assembler down. We're going to grab some carrots. We're going to grab some water. Uh, let's grab another water bottle. We also have some ammo for our gun. Um, and don't worry if you don't like third person mode. If you press H, you can go into first person. I kind of like third person on this game. And we are a chick. There is no option to play a guy, which is um, a little bit of a role reversal here, huh? Wildlife scan completed. Multiple creatures on this planet display higher than average levels of intelligence. Recommend caution. Okay, well, I will be uh, cautious. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this thing down. So we need to hit, hit the B button. And then we need to go to assemblers. And can we rotate open build menu? I don't see any option. Oh, mouse wheel. Okay, beautiful. Right, let's go ahead and put that down. Life signs detected nearby, including the legendary Weevil bugs. PDA glossary updated. Recommend building defenses ASAP. So when one of the first things they tell you to do is build defenses as soon as possible, that's that's a game for me. That's the game for me, man. I'm freaking excited. All right, access the main assembler crafting menu by walking up to it and left clicking. So these are all the things we can make. Ammo assembler. I mean, honestly, this is probably the first thing, right? And we're going to need bloodstone cry chryso phrase chryso freight i don't know what the frick and copper bars oh boy all right so this wants me to now hunt nearby enemies um well nearby animals or monsters and we got our gun here as you can see can we uh, rotate around no i don't know if there's any way to rotate around oh when i hold down control it frees up the the mouse pointer all right so let's uh there we go all right. So as you can see, again, early access, the um, holding of the gun here is a little weird. Uh, I'm going to actually go to third person. I think it looks better in third person because of that. And let's look for something to kill. On my test game, I saw some cows. And that was pretty cool. What do we got up there? Is that a cow? All right, that's a cow. And it looks like a little fawn or something. So I want to look for something that's easy to kill. This game is no joke, apparently. All right, so we could kill the cow, but I think we're going to kill the little goat. Come on, goat. There you go. Suck it, goat. That's what you get. Now we uh, press number three. I think we press, yeah, number three, and we left click. And then you got to hold down the button, and there we go. Oh, man, that thing's pissed. Is he pissed? I don't know. He looks like he might be pissed. I don't know. I'm going to leave him alone. All right, so consume some food. All right, let's eat some food. Press tab. Oh, the tab brings up the PDA. Um, we'll go over that a little bit. I'm going to press I to bring up my inventory. And what is that? Oh, goat meat. Okay. And then I'm going to right click on the food to eat it. And there we go. Search nearby rocks for copper and cry chryso chrysophase. Chrysophase? I don't know. So we're gonna look for that stuff. There's also these um these like bubble plants over here. I forget what they're called. What are these things called? Yeah, I think it's bubble bubble root or something. Uh yeah, bubble root. Look at that. So there we go. We're going to harvest that. And we're going to harvest this. Now, it didn't tell me to get bubble root, but I know I'm going to need some. All right. So we're going to be looking... Oh, that's something up there. That I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like copper, though. Yeah, that's green. There's no way that's copper, right? Can I get to it? Hmm, can't get to it. Atmospheric scan completed. Based on these readings, this planet gets visited by spaceships quite frequently. Unclear if friendly or hostile. Well, there you go. All right, let's see what this green stuff is. Come on, get up there. Ah! Oh, that's the that's the uh man. I'm. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna keep saying this wrong, and people are gonna get pissed. Uh, chrysophase. 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 I don't know. Cryo. Cry. I want. I keep wanting to say cryo, but I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. The green stuff. The green rocks. There we go. Well, I'll probably look it up. Like, how to pronounce that word. What is that? What is that? Is that a bear? Yeah, that's a bear. Okay. Well, let's try and stay away from the bear. Pro tip, stay away from the bear. Uh, that's copper over there, though. All right, here we go. Hardcore parkour! Yeah. This chick's got moves. All right, let's get that. That's got to be copper, right? Is that copper? Yeah, that's copper. Beautiful. Man, that freaking cow or whatever. Pissed. I think he's pissed. Let's grab some more of this stuff. All right, guys. The computer tutorial is telling me to make a decoder. So let's do that. 
All right, takes the green stuff and the copper. So craft one, please. And um, says something about um, uh, craft decoder and the main assembler, then build it using the build menu. You can find it in miscellaneous category. Got it, got it. All right, so B and there and miscellaneous. There we go. And decoder. Oh, look at that thing. Okay, that's pretty nice. Decode smelting at the decoder. So I think this is kind of like research, right? So now we have to decode smelting. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this brings up the, uh, okay. Unlocks the forge and metal bars. What does this 540 mean though? That's that's what I'm, I'm not really sure about. Um, build and, and, did I unlock it? Oh, it's gonna unlock in that amount of time. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it takes any resources to unlock this stuff. I think it just takes time. That's interesting. All right, so now we need to build an energy assembler. An energy assembler. Uh, you can craft energy buildings at the assembler. Okay. All right, well, let's see. Um, energy assembler. We need bloodstone and... Okay, all right. I think I know where there's some bloodstone. Let's see if we can go find some bloodstone. I think I saw some over here. By the way, that flashlight moving up and down like that is realistic, but it's also making me ill. Um, so I think there's some redstone over here, and then, you know, redstone, I'm assuming that means bloodstone. We're also going to need some more copper, so let's grab that too. Man, I just heard something big behind me. Run! Oh, that's just a, that's just a, uh, a goat. Yeah, it was over, I was looking over there for some of that bloodstone, and, um, yeah, something big growled at me. It sounded kind of like a bear. Now you may be thinking, eh, it's just a bear. But no, you know what? It's not just a bear. It's a space bear. You know? I don't need that. It's kind of weird how this planet... I'm assuming this is not Earth. It's kind of weird. Yeah, there's no way that's Earth. What the hell would that be if it was Earth? Um, I'm assuming it's Earth. Uh, so I don't know what a bear is doing on Earth. But I'm having trouble finding any of this bloodstone. Um, this is not the rock formation I went to get the other stuff at. But this is a lot closer to my base, so I was hoping to get some here. But, yeah, I'm not really finding any. All right, guys, I'm at the first rock formation I was at before, and I just got some bloodstone. But I also hear a wolf, so I think I'm just going to... I was going to grab some more bloodstone while I was out here, but I think for now, I'm just going to get the bloodstone I can get and get the hell out of here. So it seems like that bottom number maybe is the amount of ores that I'm getting. I... Yep, yep. I think it's the amount of ores I was getting. I wasn't sure what that number was all about, but obviously it's the amount of ores that are in the item. So yeah, so this is the original rock formation I was at. Uh, I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the worlds are procedurally generated. So showing you the rock formation really doesn't matter much, but eh, I figured I'd do it anyway. I wonder if these uh, bubble root are growing back because I could have swore I already nailed this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, but not a hundred percent sure. I also ran out of room pretty quickly, and there's a really nice way um, to to move your inventory quickly that I'm going to show you at some point. I don't know when, but uh, I'll, I'll, I will show you at some point. Actually, maybe I should just show you now. It's pretty important if you guys are going to be playing this game. All right, so you go into your inventory, right? And um, if you click to the right, it will take out the entire line one at a time. So you could double click here. Oh, look at that. It's taking out all the copper from from the top down. So, like, let's say you have a bunch of copper in here. You want to put it in your in, in your storage. You click on the one on the right, and, it, and you could just double-click it really quickly, and it'll put it all up there, which is just really cool. All right, so we're going to need um, some of this, some of this, uh, some of this, probably some more copper. And let's see if we have everything we need now to make uh, the next item we need to make, which is the energy assembler. We're going to need energy to do stuff. All right, there we go. Energy assembler. Do it. Ooh, did that guy follow me back here? That wolf? Where is he? Where is this freaking guy? I don't see him. Alright, mind your own damn business. Nobody likes you, wolf. Alright, uh, build... Okay, build an energy assembler. You can craft it. Okay, energy assembler. Uh, energy assembler. Okay. And, um, I guess that's a good spot for it as any. Alright, cool. Uh, build a battery. Okay, so this is bringing one. This is bringing up a thing that I'm having a hard time with in Imperion. I wish Imperion would let us build batteries as storage. I'm gonna actually put it on. I'm actually gonna like ask them on their Steam page. Uh, I know that's not this game, but yeah, batteries are are important to me. I really I really enjoy batteries. I, I don't know why. I just do. By the way, smelting is uh, about a minute away. young age, this sun suffers from periodic magnetic energy bursts. 
causing massive solar flares and intense weather conditions. In addition, the planet has its own asteroid belt. Yep. Chance of meteors breaking orbit yep. and entering the atmosphere. Yep. Hi. Oh, so I have to use the bathroom, so now I'm walking slower. Um, how do I use the bathroom? All right, apparently it's the M key, so I'm going to go around this tree and do my dirty sinful business right here. There we go. Bladder plus 80, hygiene negative 20. Dude, this is cool. I like this, man. That's really nice. And you just know you're going to be able to use poop eventually when you, like, grow stuff, right? All right, so uh, we need to make a battery. Um, build a battery. Finished. Okay, build a battery. Uh, so we need to do the battery. So we're going to need more bubble root and glow tubes. What? Glow tubes have uh, species. Da, 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 da. Their glowing properties and a variety of... Uh, their glowing properties have proven useful in a variety of fields. Okay, so where do I get them? I'm assuming it's just a plant. So, it's weird it's telling me to build this and I don't have the glow tubes. Let me see if I can find some. We're going to throw everything in here. Let me show you how I do that. Remember? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. See? Quick. Put everything away. You just go to the one on the bottom and it'll move everything in there. That's really cool. I like that. Moving stuff around is very, um, very important to me. Um, man, I can't believe, I'm really surprised how many, um, any glow tubes. Well, they should be easy to spot, right? Because they should be glowing, I'd imagine. Although the bubble, the bubble roots grow too, and, you know, I didn't need those. So let's do some exploration. A bit bored. How can you be bored? How the hell can you be bored? And what am I supposed to do to not be bored? By the way, how do you deal with rest? I didn't think about that. There's no way for me to sleep. So, what is that? Purple fungus. I'll take that. Why not? Ah, oh, finally the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. It's all right. Do, 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 do. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. I believe that might be the stuff I need as well. So I think this game works kind of like subsistence, where if you get close to the enemy, they'll kind of warn you. So that's pretty nice. Whoa! What? what? It sounds like it's right next to me. All right, I'm just gonna go in. Oh, there it is! It's invisible or something. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's a wolf. Come on, chump! Where are you going? Are you gonna run away now? I don't think so. Come on. Really? Jesus. How are you not dead? Did you see that cow? Did you see that? I probably just used all of my ammo too. That was probably pretty stupid. Well, what are you gonna do? Let's... Is there another one? All right, I'm just going to get this stuff and run. That's not what I needed. Wow, all that, and this isn't even what I needed. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. All right, guys, so we're getting our first raid. Um, the problem is... The problem is... I don't have a lot of bullets to deal with it. And I'm assuming... Oh, man, that is rough. This is not what I'm looking for either, is it? That's the bubble root. Don't really need that. So we got a raid coming, and I don't really have any way to make ammo that I'm aware of. There might very well be a way to make ammo, but I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Oh, just fucking food. Okay. What is this? Is this what we need? Glow tubes. I don't know how many I need, though. Two, three, four. All right, let's go. Let's go! I'm okay! I'm okay! Freaking glow tubes, man. I saw some other glow tubes, but they were around, like, a bunch of those, um... A bunch of those freaking wolves. And, like, yeah, I, they might only send one enemy in on me, but the thing is, I don't have... I don't have the ammo, and I don't think there's any kind of melee. I, I don't think there's any way to fight um, if you run out of ammo. So, whew, pretty rough, man. Pretty rough. We'll have to see where things go. If you die, you lose everything. I don't even think you, your body disappears. So... I should probably craft whatever I can. Hopefully they don't destroy my my base stuff, but I, I'll bet you they're going to. We might we might be in a game over situation here. We'll have to see. All right, so no, we have to come over here, 
and the battery, and we still need the cryo stuff, which we have some in here. Okay, cryo stuff. Okay. And let's go ahead and make a battery. All right, there you go. Build battery. So do I have to put down the battery? Probably. And that would be under... Oh, be under the little battery thing. Battery. Oh, wow. That is a... That is a big old battery. Okay. Build the generator. Okay, well, I will do that. Uh, copper. I have that copper. Go ahead and grab some copper. Kind of in a hurry here. Uh, was that enough? It was, but I'm gonna take a few more. Okay. And a generator. And... The ground raid is approaching your base. Yes, it is. Uploading last known coordinates now. Recommend defensive stance. Ground attack, 430. Alright. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't... I mean, if that thing takes as many bullets as the last guy I fought, I'm screwed. I don't have enough ammo. So, we'll see how things go. Uh, build a forge. Uh, requires forge uh, smelting decoder. All right, I'll have to read about that after this fight. Are they getting closer, or... Is that them? Is it a rabbit? No, those aren't rabbits. What the frig are those? Actually, those are... They look like Pokemon! Dude, I got attacked by freaking Bulbasaur! Actually, I don't know my Pokemon, so... Well, that was the raid, guys. Um... <laughs> I got... I got raided by freaking Pokemon! Oh my god. Alright, guys, now that the Pokemon raid is over, um... <laughs> let's go ahead and make ourselves a forge. There we go. Okay, and what will that be under? What do you think? Recommend building a perimeter using defensive walls to minimize damage to critical structures. Okay. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, build mixturizer. Uh, okay. Okay, where's the mixturizer ammo assembler decoder? You know, I want an ammo assembler. I think. Oh, I can't make bars yet. Okay, can we make some bars here? Come on. It's not finished. Hurry up, man. Hurry up, I need to make some bars, bro. Come on, now. Can we do anything with this? No, I can't do anything in there. Can't do anything with the generator. Uh, I can repair it for some reason, even though it shouldn't be damaged. Wait, is the generator... Did I put my eggplants in the generator? Detecting an unspecified number of ground units forming a raid nearby. Seriously, again? Estimated preparation time, four minutes. Dude. 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 Give me, give me a freaking time here, man. I don't have any bullets. I don't have any bullets. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop doing what the, what the game's telling me to do. And I'm just going to make that ammo crafting thingy. I should have made this a long time ago. Ammo assembler. Uh, well, we need the copper bars for that. The bloodstone. Okay, so we need some more copper bars. I don't think we're... Oh, we're going to have just enough. So we should have all the copper bars now. And we just need the cryo phase stuff and the bloodstone. Yeah, they should have you, like, making ammo a lot earlier. Uh, bloodstone. And we're not going to have enough of that. Damn it. Okay. Yep. All right, I need more of that green stuff. I should have some more over here. Let's see if I can find some. All right, guys, we're going to put the ammo assembler down. Um, I think. Didn't I just click on it? Assembler. Ammo assembler. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we need some ammo, dude. Oh boy. I mean, I don't think we have it. We've got 13 shots left. If we get anything, if we get anything tougher than two bunnies, we're in trouble. So, there's that. And we need rest. How do I get rest? Oh boy. I love new games, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I like. I'm assuming you could sleep in here or something, but I don't see any way to do it. I mean, it doesn't look like it'd be very comfortable, but still doable. All right, come on, come on. I need some ammo. Need some ammo. This raid's coming in. I don't know how long, but they're going to be here soon. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Damn, bro. Please wait. It's finished. It's finished. Please wait for... There we go. Uh, so I'm guessing this is the stuff I'm using. So let's craft all. Hopefully that was the right stuff. Yes, 75 rounds now. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. The next thing we need is a turret. I wonder where we make turrets. Uh, build the mixturizer. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Can we make turrets in here? Energy, uh, miscellaneous assembler, foundation assembler, forge, energy assembler, decoder, ancient assembler. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure where we make the turrets. I'm guessing the game will eventually tell us. Probably don't need turrets right away. All right. Very good, very good. Okay, build a mixturizer. Uh, okay, mixturizer. Where, where the hell is that? Uh, this building crafts everything uh, liquid related. You should also look into building an ammo assembler. Oh, okay. So it actually does tell you to build the ammo assembler. Uploading last known coordinates now. Okay, ground attacks coming in. All right, guys, here they come. Oh boy, it's a wolf. Freaking red-eyed wolf, man. Look at this freaking guy. You die! Die, bro! Yeah, where are you running? You ain't running nowhere. Yeah, I, I didn't even take that much damage, really. I mean, okay. Alright, that's cool. But they're gonna get harder, so we need to really... We need to really get going. We need to really get going. But guys, my time went off a while ago, so I am gonna call this one here. If you wanna see more of this, and if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.